There was a safety car during the fireworks. I hate everything. Hey, mate. Get in there. Oh, uh -huh. we're back. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Mark. How's your oatmeal? Excellent. How's your untoasted bread with orange marmalade? <laughs> True. <laughs> the bread's getting I'm not in England anymore. You can eat like real food. Anybody have any beans we can <laughs> eat up around here? The bread's not the best anymore. It's felt. It's I was, was going to it. do eggs on toast today, and I was like, mm, I don't know about that bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the last few minutes of tranquil sanity before we shoot a 24 hour long race. Fred's here. Fun fact we forgot Fred at the racetrack last night. They left me. Sorry, Fred. But it's not because we don't love you, it's just because we are tired. <laughs> Drew, <laughs> Drew, Drew is just enjoying one last moment before the race, just sitting on his front porch. <laughs> it's time to go, Drew. We off. Yeah, it's 8.30. That's the leave time. The leave time is sacred. You can never change it. Let's do it. All right, so here at Daytona, because of how big the event is, we actually have to park on the outside of the circuit and take a tram in. But because the tram is sometimes, you know, they wait for it to get full, so you have to wait a few minutes. What we did last night, so we didn't have to wait for the tram, is just drive our golf cart out to the parking lot, park it, and then we'll drive ourselves in this morning. It's not the fastest golf cart in the world, but it beats walking, and we have been beating the tram every day doing this, so. And that's the tram we would have been waiting for, but we're already on the move. This could be back, it's fine. Yeah. This is Drew's bag. It's not my bag. It's your bag. Okay. Oh my god, it's Daniel Morad. Oh my god, is this What's up? Hello, YouTube. Yes. How's it going? What are you doing? Thank you. Yeah, very aggressive at the end. I liked it. I was watching, I was like, man, that's some good moves there. I was uh, making jokes the whole time. Yeah. Just about how uh, how fast some other cars were on the straights, but... I mean, I don't know fun. what you're talking about. They I were think, really nice. I think they just got good exits off the uh, the infield, out on the banking. And Amazing exits. Yeah. Yeah. You know, thank goodness for them, because if it wasn't for their assistance in the side draft, I would be very, very slow on the straights. <laughs> But they uh, were nice enough to lend me a hand, a helping hand. But you got the last lap because you're on the podium and none of those ones. Yeah. It's true. I mean, Paddock's already buzzing and it's only 9.15 a.m. So your race started about four and a half hours. Let's go into the media room. Yeah, that's good. All right, all set up in the media center. Just gonna do a quick edit for Aston Martin, get that finished, and then we are basically gonna go to the grid. Uh, Christina is out in the paddock, just doing some uh, paddock stuff, getting some pan viz, all those kind of things. And uh, just gonna get this finished up, like I said, and then basically it's gonna be straight to the grid. Like, it's a pretty quick morning. The grid is really long, but it's really cool. They have a stage, all the fans can come out and see everything. And, fantastic i love how close fans can get to the action in this championship this is one of the best events in the world and it's like 130 dollars for a four-day ticket with paddock access so it's unbelievable how close everyone can get they can meet all the drivers it's such a fun event it's such a great it's just like an honor to be a part of this race so i'm just getting my gear ready to go to the grid i'm going to take the fx6 uh, with the 50 millimeter 1.4 I'm gonna pop a polarizer on that as well, and I'm also gonna take a gimbal. It's the A7S III with a 24 to 70, and I'll probably leave this uh, in one of my clients' pit boxes, and then I'll carry this around, get some different stuff on the grid. It's nice to have a gimbal to do some different. I'm gonna do some rolls and some interesting stuff for social, and then just having this to do sort of my more cinematic type stuff. So. I'm um, debating whether I'm going to bring my Helios or not. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it. Uh, I got this new sling bag from Wander, and I absolutely love it. Like, you can wear it as a fanny pack, you can use it as a sling, and I can put 
72 hundred in there, another lens. It's got snack pockets, all kinds of pockets in the back. It's pretty fantastic. I'll put a link to it in the description. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I paid full price for this, but I picked it up at a camera shop in Orlando called Colonial Camera and uh, Hobby. Colonial photo and hobby, but yeah, it's a fantastic bag. I absolutely love it. So I've been carrying that around. It's like a, uh, everyone's been calling it my purse, but it's really convenient. So yeah, I'll take that to the grid. So I have some different options and we'll uh, get on with our day here. All the hot. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Like, yeah. it's great. Yeah. It's in the bro car. Oh, uh, right there. Right there, yeah. No, you're good right there. You're all part of the background, you're all characters in the show, you know? How do you know? No way. These are the phones. Yes! But who keeps it, me or you? Mm. I could do two. Digitize no, we it. Don't, we don't need to waste in stacks, though. <laughs> yeah, it's very expensive. You can keep it, sweetheart. Put Aww. it in your bedroom. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, we're down on the grid. I got JP with me. Hi, guys. How's it going? Good day so far? It's uh, a little crowded, a little hectic. I mean, they're about to let the fans in, so it's gonna get... <laughs> the grid yeah. in there or whatever, it was... It's a lot of people here, Dude. right? Yeah, it's packed, I so... couldn't even move. They, they, they need to get uh, horns on all the cars here, or whatever yeah. those things are. Yeah, JP's here working with Jamie. Uh, it's pretty calm right now, but... They're about to let all the fans in to walk around. It's gonna be... Uh, pretty cool uh, a lot of people here it's awesome to see that endurance racing in the US is like so popular now it's people have finally figured out the Rolex 24 and how amazing it is so yeah we're gonna get some shots down here on the grid and it'll be time for driver introductions which we definitely have to get for all our teams so get on it Just opened the grid, the fans are right up next to the cars, talking to drivers, seeing everything up close, taking photos with the cars, it's awesome. That's what I love about IMSA, man. This is one of the best events in the world. Everyone with a GA ticket gets the same access, and you know, you don't see this at Formula One races, you don't see this at, you know, big events like NASCAR and MotoGP, but IMSA allows fans to get close to the cars and have an incredible fan experience. Like, if you live in the U.S. or you're planning a trip to the U.S., try to get there for an IMSA race. There's 12 races a year, they're all incredible, but if you had to go to one, I would say go to the Rolex 24. It's amazing. We're going to get a few more shots here on the grid, and then it's going to get a little bit stressful as we get in position to get the movie car start shots for this race. Racina's going to go up in the stands. I'm going to do it from the pit lane, and hopefully we get uh, at least one of us nails it. Probably her. With this? Yeah, what do you want to do? Just whatever you want. Just do it. Where am I going like, up on this? Do you, do you want to you stand, stand up on that? Yeah. Is she going to do it with you, or...? Come on. It'll be great. It'll be a great show. You can, I'm going to take a photo of the two of you standing on top of this thing. It's going to be great. It's going to be very memorable. I'll hold it. You got it. Perfect. Oh, start shots and do a little uh, race start edit and then uh, deliver that and uh, we'll be back out to shoot a little bit more. Christina's on her way back to the grandstands. I'm hoping she nailed the start shot because unfortunately 
someone walked in front of us during the GT start, so I missed it, which is uh, not great, but uh, is what it is. You know, you can only control what you can control. Sometimes people are going to walk in front of you. Sometimes people, they don't mean to do it. They aren't thinking, lapse of judgment, whatever it is, they walk in front of you. It's fine. We'll make it work. It really sucks. Like if you are at a race, like try and remember there are other people around you as well. Um, but you know, people make mistakes. I'm, I'm sure it wasn't malicious, but uh, it is kind of annoying. But we'll be fine. We've got hopefully Christina's got a great start shot. She'll bring it down, and we'll be uh, good to go. All right. Got some edits done. Deliver some stuff. Now we're gonna head out to shoot the sunset. This is a unique 24-hour race because it starts early. It starts at 1.40 p.m. So you don't have much time before the sun starts to set here in the winter in Florida in January. We're gonna have nearly 13 hours of nighttime. The sun sets around 5.30, 6 o'clock. So with the early start, we basically go, we have a couple hours of daylight. So it's basically right into sunset. So we're gonna get our sunset shots, just some blue hour stuff, do some night stuff, and then head back in some more edits. It's just go, go, go. Should quiet down once we get uh, to the overnight portion, but gotta do this, we gotta do some pit stops. It's it's a lot, so go, 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 but I love it. come towards me down here to try and get a you know shot of the driver in the car I talked about that in my Dubai 24 vlog from last year I really want to get the driver eyeballs so I've got uh, a 70 to 200 with a two times teleconverter so I'll be at 400 millimeter on the long end at f 5.6 so not the lowest f-stop but perfectly fine for this time of day shine of five hours in it's 20 after six so sun's pretty much set here it's blue hour look at that i don't know what it is about gopros and how they can like be perfect exposure of both my face and the sky but my seven thousand dollar camera can't do that but it's pretty awesome so thank you gopro for making me feel stupid for using a seven thousand dollar camera where i can either have the sky or the person exposed anyway rant over uh, wait out this full course yellow, get back to shooting. Jamie, how's your race going? Uh, good. Client's not doing so well, but the, my race is going. You can't control that. So nope. Not your problem. Um, Fred, how's your race going? Good. Pretty good. Um, had a pretty good sunset. Now I'm about to go outside and get weird for the nighttime. 
Sweet. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Christina's doing that fingernail thing that she does. Let's see it. Let's see it. How's your race going? Is it good? Pretty good. Kind of tired though. Mm. Yeah, we're, only, we're only seven hours in. It's the sun. Yeah. And use my time effectively. So, back starting to hurt a little bit. I've been awake for a while. I was hoping to get some sleep overnight, but I have a bit more work to do, so probably end up sleeping after the sun sunrise. Uh, if we get a sunrise, it's supposed to rain. Uh, we'll see. So, everything's fluid, like I said earlier, in a 24 hour race. But right now, I'm going to try and get a nice panning shot here. fence as you can, shoot a long focal length, and that fence will disappear. So for those three things, low aperture, get close, long focal length. It's like the fence isn't even there.
later. Optima Motorsport was nice enough to lend us the office of their trailer that they're not using to have a nap. So somehow Drew and I are gonna share this tiny couch <laughs> and have a wee nap before we shoot the end of the race. So uh, uh, lights out, we'll see you all um, at the podium or somewhere along, I'm really tired. A few moments later. How was your sleep, Drew? For a second sleep, it was 11 out of 10, which was really good. Yeah, my favorite part was when the guy came in to put stuff away. It was just like, oh, but these guys sleep while we get stuff away. I'm not sure who they are, but <laughs> Excellent. Well, all right, I'm feeling a lot better than that. All right, let's go, uh, let's get the ray finished. Let's go do things. Oh. We've had lunch, and there is 50 minutes left in the race, and there's a safety car, so it's kind of bunch everything up. Everything's about to get crazy, but I have to do another, another 20 minutes of editing, and then head down to the pit lane and figure out where we need to be for the finish. So, yeah. hand talking. That was actually an extra of Donald's Vogue video. So that's podium finished. The thing about these uh, Rolex 24 races is that the podium takes a really long time. There's so many classes. There's like an endurance cup. They got to roll the cars in, and they did like the movie shoot and everything. So it's about over an hour since the race ended, and we're just heading back to Media Center now to start editing. So it's going to be a late one, but the Lions play in the NFC Championship game at 6:30. I very much plan on watching that. So. Oh, I am tired, but it's time to sit down. Hopefully I can get these edits done pretty quick and we'll be on our way. The next day. There was the beacon. We did miss the turn. It's fine, it's fine. Yes, I need to hit the curb! The toner is complete. <laughs> All right. Let's debrief your Rolex 24. Drew, how was your Rolex 24? Mm, good, yeah, not not many. A lot of my cars were tired, so I didn't have much work on them. So it was a good day. <laughs> so, well, it just made it a bit easier. So, and it's one of the easier ones I've done, and pretty good. Sorry. How was your sunset, though? Mm, what I got was nice, but not the best one I've done. Not the best on my performance. Fred? Uh, I think it went pretty smooth. Uh, can't really complain. Shot a lot. Didn't sleep. And, uh, How long were you awake? How many hours? Did you stayed I up think it was the like, like, what else? Yeah, no, right? So I don't know, was it like 38 or almost 40 hours? I mean, like that's crazy. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> you didn't sleep at all? Until no. next year. Until next year, and then I'm going to do it all over. <laughs> Jamie? I uh, had a pretty good race. Clients didn't do amazingly, but had a P3 for Wayne Taylor Racing. And yeah, stayed up 37 hours, didn't sleep. Felt like <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Mine was pretty good. I did sleep for an hour. Drew and I had a nap. It was great. Um, with Together Connor. or separately? Uh, I mean, we were next to each other. Um, <laughs> and it actually helped a lot. It was pretty good. I think we got delivered everything we needed to deliver. So, clients are happy. That's the most important thing. So, yeah, off to the next one. Hello from the future, because as per usual, I forgot to film a proper outro uh, when I was in Daytona. So you saw the little, you know, sort of recaps that we each gave, but 
It's about a week later now. I'm actually uh, in Dubai. I just want to take a moment to say that I absolutely love the Rolex 24. It's one of the highlight events of the year. And, you know, this year, fans could attend the race for $130 for a four day ticket, paddock access, general admission, sit in the grandstand, sit in the infield, wherever you want. It's one of the best events in the world if you are a racing fan. And I said, you know, during the vlog, if you ever have an opportunity to go to a race in the US, that's one of the ones you want to go to for sure. And it was great. I even met a few people at the race who said that, you know, my videos and my social media inspired them to go to the race. And that's what I love to hear. I want more people to be involved in racing and become fans of motorsport because it's just, it's my favorite sport. It's my favorite thing in the world. It's my livelihood. I love motorsport and I love you know, that I get to travel the world and film race cars and make cool content and just be in, you know, the motorsport community. It's amazing. So I just wanted to finish off uh, by saying, you know, it was an amazing event. I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching this full video and being a subscriber. Uh, please leave a like down below, a comment, you know, let me know what you enjoyed about the vlog, what you didn't like, you know, what I can do better in the future. A lot of the times I get really busy during these events. So the vlogs become really raw and they're not, you know, focused on, you know, what I did at the race that day because I'm doing work and I'm doing the vlog sort of on top of that. But yeah, make sure that, you know, you leave a comment below and, you know, if you end up going to a race, you know, let Daytona International Speedway, let IMSA know that, you know, the content that we're making, you know, behind the scenes stuff is inspiring you to go to these events, you know, that goes a long way. And I also wanna end off by giving a shout out to my friends at Lockdown Brand. If you wanna get one of these awesome hats or a shirt or some of the other stuff that they make, you can go to lockdownbrand.com, use my code MARK10, get 10% off and I get a small commission. It's win-win, this video is not sponsored by Lockdown Brand, but I am an ambassador of Lockdown Brand. And yeah, I get a small commission, you get 10% off, use that code MARK10. It's win-win, it's a great way to support a creator that you like without having to do anything extra and you get something out of it. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one.